Welcome back to the channel. Let's crack on with the Viva. I'll just move the legit tool cabinet there. Right, before we start, there's one bonus unexpected job being added to the list. Let's take a look at that. Just get under here. Can everyone see that? The airframe ratchet was tied over the track rod and it's bent the inner track rod when it was towed up. Uncle Michael did it. And I cannot find a HC1 listed anywhere. So I'm going to whip the boot off, see if it looks similar to a HJ Viva one, and order one of them, take a chance. If not, I'll have to borrow one of me other Viva. Right, let's whip the boot off. Every self-respecting toolbox should have a butter knife in it. Now the boot is mangled, so I don't have to be gentle about this. I need some new snips. Right, no, looks nothing like the HA one. <laughs> Unless the HA one I've ordered is an aftermarket one, who knows? I'll have to wait until it arrives. And anyway, let's leave that for now. Right, it's a canny day outside, so I'm going to push the car outside for the next couple of jobs. At some point it looks like there's been someone living in here. So let's see if we can get this parcel shelf out and see if there's still a mouse in the house. Looks like it's these two bolts that hold them in. Let's whip them off. Right, took out them two bolts, pushed down on the seats, pulled them out and the parcel shelf slid out. And no one's home. This reconditioned or possibly new radiator came with the car when I bought it. Nice. Bought a handy pack of spare Imperial nuts and bolts. This car seems to be a mixture of Imperial and Netric. Right, I want to connect up all the hoses. That's all the water pipes buttoned up. Got myself a fan belt, always handy.
Okay, I've run out of time. I've got to go and pick the bands up and get myself to work. Please like, share and subscribe. Comment below and message us if you've got an inner truck rider for a Vauxhall Viva HC. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Give it the thumbs up.